Yeah, hello everyone. Myself Maruti welcoming you all to this math video session. Uh, in this video, I have taken a sum from trigonometry. Uh, I assure you, it's a tricky and a beautiful sum. Let's come. Let's get back for that one. Okay. So the question goes like this: one plus tan square a by one plus cot square a is equal to. He is asking us in different way. One plus tan a by one plus cot a whole square is equal to tan square. Means here we are dealing with as if like a transitive property or something like that. We are supposed to move from here to here. That is the first sum. Again from here to here. Second sum. From as a is equal to b and b is equal to c, then according to the transitive property, I can say that a is equal to c or a is equal to b is equal to c. That is what we are supposed to do. We'll get back to that one. So uh, let's start here. So what is given here? So we are going from the concept. What is given? So he is given one plus tan square a by. 1 plus cot square a. This is the given question for us. We like to start from here. Okay. So now, what's my concept? Is in the place of tan a, I can write like this. Simply 1 plus. Can I write like this? Tan a whole square by 1 plus cot a whole square. Just uh, what I how that means. Simply have sent the power to the top. Okay. Now, as you all know, with the help of the quotient identity. Tan a is equal to sine by a and cot a is equal to cos by sine a. So we'll go for that one. One plus, right? In the place of sin, uh, tan a, we are writing it as sine a by cos a. Of course, whole square, whole divided by, let's write that equals here. Now in the bottom, one plus, I'm writing, writing it as whole square, cot, I'm writing it as cos a. By sine a. How we are getting this? This is just because of the quotient identities. Quotient identity uh, 1 and 2. What are the quotient identities? We know tan a is equal to sine by cos and uh, cot a cot is equal to cos by sine. With the help of that formula, I am able to write that. Now, let us plug in the square inside. I'm writing 1 plus the square gets in. I can write it as sine square a by cos square a whole divided by 1 plus the square, square I'm taking it inside. Now, what does it become? It's nothing but cos square a by sine square a. So what did I do here? It's nothing but a formula what we are having. As if like uh, if you have uh, the formula like uh, a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m by b to the power m. This is the general algebraic formula what I have used. Now numerator and denominator plus or minus obviously we take LCM. Let's take LCM here also. So this is whole divided by, yes, if there is no one at the bottom, it's nothing but 1. Let's take the LCM for cos square and 1. Obviously, the LCM is cos square. That's the LCM. Now, how many times 1 goes in cos square? Whenever, when we are checking 1, we are always supposed to say the thing which is present there. 1 goes in cos square, cos square times. Now, cos square, go and multiply with that uh, top. 1 into cos square a, obviously we are getting it as cos square a. Plus is there, let's keep that plus. Now again, same goes in the same, cos square a goes in cos square a, same goes in same one time. Now 1 into the top, whatever it might be, 1 into the top, whatever it might be, it is nothing but sin square a. You got it cool, I repeat, 1 cos square a, then same is cos square a. Now 1 goes into cos square a, cos square a times. Cos square a into 1, it is nothing but cos square a plus the sign, you bring it here. Same goes in same, one time, 1 into sin square a, sin square a. Now again take the LCM of the denominator. Again the LCM, whatever is there, 1 and sin square, LCM is sin square. Okay, now 1 goes in the sin square, just now I said, whenever we are checking 1, whatever is there, you have to tell that, sin square. Sin square into 1, it's nothing but the sin square a. Plus, now uh, sin square goes in sin square, same goes in same one time. 1 into cos square a, cos square a. 
okay now if you check it out the numerator and the numerator whatever it might be present here if you check it out it properly we know that a plus b is equal to b plus a it's very cool here right a plus b can be written as b plus a doesn't matter okay now after keeping in the bracket it is cos square a plus sin square a and here it is sin square a plus cos square it doesn't matter now with the help of square identity now sin square a plus cos square a with the help of square identity we can write it as 1 by cos square a whole divided by 1 by sin square a you might have get an idea what's that because of how did you get that so with the help of uh, right we know that right we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta we are getting it as 1 square right square identity 1 with the help of the square identity 1 i got sin square theta plus cos of course we changed it Right, a plus b, we are writing it as b plus a, which is nothing but we are writing it as sin square a plus cos square a. That you can write if you want. Now, otherwise, straight away, sin square theta plus cos square theta, here also it becomes 1, here also it becomes 1. Now, 1 by cos square a by 1 minus sin square a. Now, the denominator, flip it to the numerator. Right here, already we are having the numerator 1 by cos square a into the denominator, whatever we are having, we are flipping it to the numerator. It becomes sin square a by 1. Fine. Now, if you check it out, the numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator gets multiplied. 1 into sin square a, I can write it as sin square a by cos square a into 1, I can write it as cos square a. Okay. Now, if you check it out, we are having the formula here. Right. What's the formula? a square by b square can be written as a by b whole square. We know that. So, I am writing it as sin a by cos a whole square. Right. So, the power whatever is there on the top, I took it as a whole square. Now, as you all know, sin theta by cos theta from quotient identity 1. What's the quotient identity 1? We know that one sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta this is the formula what we have so now sin theta by cos theta obviously we can write it as tan a whole square okay now bring the square inside it's nothing but tan square a okay from where did we start and where did we reach so we have uh, started at 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a where did we reach which is nothing but the tan square a now what we are able to what we are able to conclude from there so we are able to write it as 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a equals how much did we get tan square a this is what we have reached there so i like to call it as equation one right i like to repeat where did we start we have started at 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a this is the given question what did i do tan a whole square i have written later on tan can be written as sine by cos that is the quotient identity one cot can be written as cos by sine that is quotient identity two now i sent to the square inside why because a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m by b to the power m i pushed that square to both the numerator and the denominator numerator denominator now i took lcm right lcm means if there is nothing we take it as one right so the lcm is one cos square means lcm is cos square now one goes in cos square cos square cos square into one it's cos square plus means plus cos square goes in cos square one time same goes in same one time one into sine square sine square in the same way but i have changed the places why because a plus b is equal to b plus a commutative property now we know the square identity one that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one in the place of the numerator and the numerator here i place it as one now I sent the denominator to the top, it became sin square by 1, multiplied the tops, multiplied the bottoms, I got it as so and so. Now square I sent it to the top and sine by cos, as you all know, it's another but quotient I did in 1. Now what we got? Tan square. Now from the first, we have reached the last and I call it as.
we have already proved that 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square is equal to tan square. This is the equation one which we have already proved. Now let us start with this point. From the second point let us prove it. Let us start with 1 plus tan a by 1 plus cot a whole square and let's reach till tan square a and see how it goes on. Now let's consider, let's go from here. Consider the point is here is 1 plus tan a by 1 plus cot a whole square. This is the point where we have started. Okay, now from there we like to go. Now, as you all know, as you all know, right, we are having certain formula. We know a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Right, uh, that is algebraic formula. Now I like to use that formula for both the numerator and also to the denominator. Before that, I like to write like this, 1 plus tan a, whole square I have split that uh, uh, a square a plus b whole square formula to the numerator and also to the denominator 1 plus cot a whole square okay now this desired formula i like to use it in the numerator and also in the denominator now, if you check it out if i consider this as a and if i consider this as b Right, I can write to the numerator and the denominator also. The numerator I like to write it as a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. I like to use this formula this as a and this as b right in the numerator. Huh? Whereas in the denominator also a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. Whereas here this becomes a and this becomes b. Let us plug in the values there. What is a here? 1. What is b here? It's nothing but tan a. Here it is 1 and it is nothing but tan a. I have used this formula in the numerator. Okay. Now let's use the same formula in the denominator over here also. This is nothing but a and this is nothing but b. Again a and this is nothing but b. Cool. That's the algebraic formula what we have used. Now, general basic mathematics. Let us bring that to square inside. 1 square is nothing but 1 plus tan square, tan a whole square is nothing but tan square a plus 1 into 2, 2, 2 into tan a, it's nothing but 2 tan a. Cool. Right. What did I do? Just I plugged it inside. In the denominator also the same thing. 1 square is nothing but 1 cot a whole square is nothing but cot square a plus 2 into 1, 2, 2 into cot, it's nothing but 2 cot a. Just I didn't do anything, just I pulled the square inside. Cool. Now I started thinking in different manner. Now in the next step, in the next step, I didn't do anything. See here, 1 plus tan square a plus 2 tan a. I didn't do anything, just I'm writing, just wait for a second. 1 plus cot square a plus 2 cot a. I didn't do anything. Just I have copied. But the only one thing what I'm doing is I'm combining this total as one thing now. I'm considering the total set as one. 1 plus tan square a and in one, the denominator 1 plus cot square a. Now by seeing itself you'll be getting an idea. I know that. It's nothing but from the square identity we know square identity are uh, 2 from square identity 2 you can write it as 1 plus tan square a is nothing but secant square a from the square identity 2. In the same way we know square identity 3 we can say 1 plus cot square a 1 plus cot square a is nothing but cosecant square a these are the two formulas which we know okay so what i'm doing in the place of 1 plus tan square a i'm writing it as secant square a yes of course what is left over it's nothing but 2 tan a whole divided by here 1 plus cot square a we are writing it as cosecant square a yeah, cosecant square a, cosecant square a plus 2 cot a. 
cool this is the beautiful thing what we have done just i like to recap late one plus a a plus b whole square right now one plus tan square i'm considering as a, a secant square and one plus cot square i'm considering it as cosecant square now the logic starts from there onwards now as you all know secant square a can be written as 1 by cos square a that's the cool see here i took the entire stuff in the same way i have taken 2 tan a in the same way i didn't touch that don't go there okay okay right let's do everything here now so uh, 2 tan a kept in the same way right and secant square a. now i like to write secant square a as 1 by cos square a okay in the same way cosecant square a i like to write it as 1 by sin square a of course the 2 cot a i like to keep in the same way 2 cot a okay so why did we how did we write that we know reciprocal identities it's nothing but reciprocal identities right it's nothing but secant square a is equal to 1 by r uh, secant a is nothing but 1 by cos a in the same way cosecant a is nothing but 1 by sin a what's that multiplicative identity second and first this is second multiplicative identity this is the uh, right first multiplicative one we know that now what exactly what i am doing in a logical way now 1 by cos square a it's no issues like that now what exactly i am writing tan tan as a sin by cos it's nothing but sin by cos it's nothing but quotient identity in the same way 1 by sin square it is already there plus 2 into cot is nothing but cos a by sin a right from where did you get this again the same thing i'm using the formulas here quotient identity one and two what are the quotient identity tan theta is equal to sine by cos in the same way cot is equal to cos by sine these are the quotient identities one and two right i have used that now logically if you check it out what i am supposed to do let's take the lcm in the numerator what's there in the numerator there it's nothing but cos square a okay now right cos square a goes in cos square a how many times same goes in same one time now one into top one it's nothing but one plus c is nothing there means plus now the cos goes in cos square cos square means cos into cos cos square is nothing but cos into cos how many times one cos goes there one more cos is there you have to remember that i like to repeat it i like to repeat it if you want it is nothing but cos into cos cos square is nothing but cos into cos how many times cos goes close the one which we are checking tell the one which is other one how many times cos goes one more cos cos into two sine it is nothing but two sine cos this is the beautiful logic what you have to repeat again i repeat cos square a into cos what's the lcm the bigger one cos into cos cos square means cos into cos i have written that now cos square goes in cos square time same goes in one time one into one one i have written plus means plus cos goes how many times whichever we are seeing close that tell the one which is the other one cos now cos into two sine means two sine cos theta now let's come back to the denominator denominator what is the lcm sine square which is the bigger one here denominator is sine square here is nothing but sine which is the bigger one sine square now let us take sine square but wantedly sine square i'm writing it as sine into sine just it's a precaution let me say now sine square goes in sine square one time one into one it's nothing but one plus is there means plus cool now how many times sine goes close the one which we are checking what is left over sine now sine goes uh, uh, sine goes in sine square sine times now multiply this with the top it becomes two sine theta cos theta okay okay now now if you check it out properly i can write this for you okay i can write everything here so don't mind you please check it out there so here it is nothing but right one plus two sine theta cos theta i kept in the bracket and i kept this in the bracket and across this i cancel this 
the numerator there and the numerator here gets cancelled. Now what is left over? It's what is left over means 1 by cos into cos. It's nothing but cos square A whole divided by here it is 1 by sin into sin as usual sin square A. Okay, if you flip to the top, if you flip to the top, it's nothing but 1 by cos square A into sin square A by 1, right, which is nothing but sin square by cos square, which is nothing but tan square A. Okay, where did we start and where did we reach, right? If you check it out, we have started at 1 plus tan A by 1 plus cot A whole square and we have reached it here at the tan square A. So, right, uh, the second proposal is already we have proved the equation 1 and uh, here we have reached from here to here that is nothing but only that it's nothing but equation 2. Only this part is equation 2. From this is this is equation one, and only these two, which we have to write here, it is nothing but equation two. From equation one and two, what we get already we have proved as from A to C. If you consider this as A, this as B, and this as C, already we have proved from A to C. A to if this as A and this as C and now if you start here to B and if you reach at to C right A to C we have already proved that is equation 1 this is equation 1 just now we have started from B and we have reached at to C if this is C and this is B from B to C we have reached this is equation 2 right from A to C we have already reached now B to C just now we have reached from here from equation 1 and 2 what we can say A is equal to B is equal to C that is the given question is proved. Right to write down the entire question back again and say in this channel I have been placing both math and science videos 